Hey traders, John Halley, hope you guys are doing well. In this video, I'm gonna share with you something exciting happening and forming on the gold indices and the gold GDX and GDX. I'm gonna focus on that in this video. So this video here is just educational only. Uh, this is not personal advice. I don't know what's gonna happen moving forward, but uh, I'm just letting you know that this here is just to help you and educate you, helping you moving forward with your, with your trading. Anyway, <laughs> let's get straight into it. Before I do start, guys, very first link in the description, I'm running a pretty special offer right now where I'm giving you a seven-day free trial to all my top system strategies, foundations, chart reading strategies, millionaire mindset, seven-day free trial. I'm only running it, I'm only running it on a short, short time frame. So very first thing in the description, click on that right now to go secure your spot for the seven-day free trial. Anyway, let me share with you what I'm seeing now on the GDX and also the especially the GDXJ. Something's getting me very, 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 very excited. Very excited. And the reason why is because if you have a look, this is the GDX, okay? The Gold Miners Index. And if you look at the GDX, you can see ever since back here, ever since back here in 2009, market ran up, market ran down. And now we're just sort of just sort of going sideways here, aren't we? Ever since 2014, just going sideways. But if you look at it a bit closer, right, what do we have here? What, what do we have here? We have this low, lower high. Is, is also is also another lower high here, as you can see. So high, another lower high, and then what, another lower high here. Market ran up 2016, made a high, then came down, made a what? A higher low, and now the market's just gone sideways. So by looking at what we're seeing here right now on this on this GDX. We've heard the saying before, the calm before the storm. Well, if you understand how the markets work, whenever the markets go sideways for an extended period of time, like you can see here on GDX, you can see it's been going now sideways for a what? It's got been going sideways now for a year and a half. That tells me that the storm is about to hit the market. Now, when I say, when I, when I use the word about to hit the market, it could be this week, it could be in the next few weeks, it could be in the next few months, okay? That's what I mean by about it, because I'm looking at the weekly chart here, okay? So it may take another few months for this start to hit the market. Now, the the, the also the, better, the the positive thing about this is that if we start to break above this $25 level, then I definitely do see I definitely do see gold running back up to at least the highs up here at $30 level. And then I that that'd be that'd be that'd be a, a minimum target for me. And then the then the other target would be forty dollars. So I do believe I do believe that by looking at this chart here, we've made this major high 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 low, and now we're just going sideways. Look at this here. What is this here? This is the calm before the storm. Look at all that sideways movement through there. This is the calm before the storm, and I do believe I do believe we're likely to start getting this. I do believe we're likely to rally back up to the $30 level. It might pause there a little bit. Again, this is a weekly chart, so it's not going to happen in, in one week. It may have may have this may take three to six months, maybe longer. But I do ultimately have a target of it breaking past this $30 level on the GDX and running back up to the $40 level there. That's that's where I ultimately have a target there. So looking on that there, if I go and share with you now the GDXJ. The GDXJ looks even better. Why? Because once again, if you, if I if I squeeze this up, look how tight, look how tight this GDXJ GDX chart is here. Look how tight this is. Right? Bam. Look how tight that is. It's right. It's just getting ready to. It's getting ready to explode, just like silver. <laughs> right? It's getting ready to explode. So you can see this market. Same thing. Market ran up, made this major higher high. So if you look at this here, you have this high, lower high, lower high, lower high, high low, higher high, now just going sideways. If we do start to break up and out, especially when you start to get a back, up, back above this $35 level, then that's game on for me. Game on simply means we're now heading up towards the 50 level, which is the high up here. But I believe we're likely to best that and run back up to the 70 mark. That's where a target is for me. Now, where is the 70 mark? Why 70 mark? Because that, that's where it is right there. Plus also, if I use a one-to-one -one projection, where I go from there to there and there to there, you actually can see a one-to-one -one projection is around about that that $60 level. So that'll be an ultimate target for me. Same with the JNUG as well too. This is something, the JNUG is actually one that I'm looking at personally 
by um, by doing that. You can see J Nug. I, I have a I have a short term target on J Nug to get up to the 120. Obviously, because it's a three times index. But then apart from that, apart from that, uh, I definitely do see that. Um, that yeah, I definitely do see that the J Nug. Ultimately, ultimately over the next couple of years, I have a I have a target of 250 for J Nug, which is only 50% retracement. Looking at this here as well too, but. As I was saying before, looking at the GDX and the GDXJ guys, looking very, very, very bullish. It's getting towards that apex right now. And I believe we're getting ready for some sort of a strong, strong, strong breakout. Again, it may not happen this week. It may take a few weeks, but that's what I do see there, guys. I hope this helps you out. Don't place a trade based on what you're seeing in this in this video, guys, because I'm not. This is just my thoughts and my opinion. Obviously, you want to wait for some sort of setup. You want to wait, want to wait, want to wait for some some good setup, and you want to wait for a really, really, really nice entry point in the markets. Makes sense, guys. So I hope that makes sense for you. Anyway, guys, I'm out of here. Hope that helps you out. Click on the link in the description to get the free seven day trial to my top trading systems and strategies. All right, guys. See you next time.